got no shoes in my house. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, the Mac of all trades, and I am back with another crafting video. Full disclaimer, I spelled his last name wrong. It's supposed to be two C's, not one. And I put one, not two. So I fucked it up on that front. But people told me that no one's gonna notice. So <laughs> let me know down below if you noticed that Roddy Rich's last name was spelled wrong. <laughs> if you wanna see how I made this, in my opinion, clever ass doormat and OG original, then keep on watching. So to make our Roddy Rich doormat, we're gonna need a doormat, which I purchased mine at Ikea for $9.99. Then you're just gonna need some indoor outdoor paint. I already have this on hand. This is from the um, front door. A ruler, painter's tape, and some paintbrushes. To start out, I'm going to measure my doormat and then tape lines down where I want the words to go. My doormat is two feet by almost three feet, two feet, 11 inches. So it goes two feet, 11 inches along here and then two feet along here. So we're just gonna divide that into four so we can have four different sections for the words. So since mine is two feet going this way, I'm going to be doing them six inches apart. So now that we have our lines all lined up, we can get to painting. But if you do not feel comfortable freehanding it, you can always get some stencils and stencil it on there. But I am going to freehand because I'm a boss like that. I've got all my paintbrushes in here and I'm gonna find couple that I think I will like the size or the thickness of them for this project and if you guys want you can always use a chalk marker to freehand it on there because or not really a chalk marker but it's almost like a chalk crayon like that you can use something like that to put the letters on there if you want to freehand it and that way this can like this will easily rub off with just some water if you happen to mess up but then you'll have to let your doormat dry down fully before you start painting i'm just going to use this chalk writer to write the words on here I don't know how easily you will be able to see this. <laughs> and then I want it to come down over here. So I'm gonna mark over the tape. So there we have our bitch. 
And then the other letters where it said, don't wear no shoes in my house. And then we're going to have Roddy Rich down here in cursive. But these two lines, I want to be just print. Which I'm not very good at printing. I'm better at like cursive and decorative and calligraphy and stuff like that. I'm not good at all when it comes to printing. So we're just going to start those where the quotation marks started. guys I do have a, a Cricut machine but I did not want to cheat making this because a lot of people don't have a Cricut machine so why you know I don't want to cheat you guys out of being able to make this so I'm gonna do it just how anybody else who does not have an expensive ass Cricut machine would do this didn't make enough room for the Y, you guys. So this is gonna look kind of funky. Might not be too bad. I didn't think about that. And now we are ready to paint. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with something a little slender, such as that one or that one. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with this one. And then after I get the basic down, I'm just gonna kinda like stipple the paint in there a little bit so it makes a it nice and strong. You know what I mean? It makes the pigment go down into that doormat. So I'm just stippling that in there. Just like that.
So I've got the first word done now, and now I'm working on the print. There you have it, our bitch don't wear no shoes in my house, Roddy Rich doormat. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you happen to make this doormat, please, please post it on like Instagram or Facebook or something and tag me in it. Anyway, thank you all again for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And once again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.